Puentland's Garajad port is open for business. The facility has just been completed and ships dock there Sunday. It was built from donations from the local community. Business people and entrepreneurs look forward to the port picking up business from Berbera, Kismayo, Mogadishu, Djibouti, and even Mombasa. In the past, Somali ports were considered less safe, and much traffic instead stopped at the country's northern and southern neighbors. But security in Puntland has been considered very stable over the past few years, with state security forces successfully chasing Al-Shabaab and ISIS from the area. State President Saeed Denny paid a visit to congratulate those whose efforts resulted in an impressive facility. I congratulate the people of Puntland and Somalia in general for our historical and initial success in the construction of the Garahad port, which today docked the first ship. There is anticipation that an overland route from the port to Ogaden, the Somali area of Ethiopia, will become busy. It is 303 kilometers from the border. Ethiopia is landlocked and mostly served by Djibouti, although transportation from Berber is being built. This is the first privately funded port in Somalia. The uniqueness of the community pitching in to provide the finances to construct such a large project is extraordinary. Estimates at the start had the total cost of construction at $51 million. The work was started in late 2019. The facility includes an international standard port with three berths. It can accommodate three large ships up to 1,500 containers, even those with huge fuel storage tanks. There are multiple warehouses and other large storage areas. The port can handle three and a half million tons of cargo per year. It has a storage expansion area of 84 square kilometers. Wadag Sun Company, LLC, which operates the port, is advertising for employment at the facility. They can be contacted by email at the address on your screen. ADN-TV will continue to report on economic developments throughout Somalia.